Assalamualaikum. Selamat petang semua kepada fans-fans Harimau Melaya. Hari ini eksklusif sekali lagi saya bawakan untuk anda. Kita bersama dengan Ketua Jelatih Seri Pahang FC iaitu Christoph Gamel. Apa khabar Coach? You good Coach? Hey, I'm okay. Happy Nuzul uh, Quran to all yeah. uh, Muslim. And Thank you so much Coach. Yeah, I know. I know Muslim. I grew up with uh, Muslim. Uh, so uh, yes, it's, I know it's very important day and uh, I wish uh, you all uh, the best. Thank you so much, Coach. Okay, Coach, uh, we go to straight to the, to the point. Uh, I want yeah. to your comment first after three games with Sri Pang. But after three games, uh, well, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit disappointment, huh? Because uh, the team, uh, the team is playing well, ex- except uh, our last game, or we, we drop a bit. Uh, we lose the battle in the midfield. Yeah. But the first game was a uh, good development of action, uh, restarting from the back. It was uh, quite uh, interesting, but uh, you know as me, uh, uh, when when you don't get result, uh, and especially in Malaysia, it uh, uh, already uh, people put pressure or what. Uh, but it's not the case at the, with the club, but uh, we are a professional coach. We know we know what it is. You you can play a wonderful uh, game, but uh, if you lose, or uh, if you have bad result at the end, uh, it can be it can be uh, difficult huh, for the for the coaches. But it's it's the way. I mean, I'm not afraid. I saw your uh, caricature. Huh? <laughs> I honestly, was a good one. Uh, but uh, you make mistake on the. On the <laughs> on the draw, because I'm I'm not at all afraid uh, about this. It's part of the job. Sometimes you do everything; it doesn't work. Sometimes it's like that. Sometimes you are lucky. I think this since the beginning I have been really unlucky. But uh, we work hard. I I mean the players are working well. Uh, the spirit is there. Uh, and uh, we we are con- we are on our way of uh, building a team, uh, working, and uh, uh, sooner or later it, it will pay off. So it, with me or without me, me I I wish nothing but the best for uh, Sri Pahang FC. Well, that's all. before I was in Algeria in League One, and b- before that I was in uh, in uh, Belgium. That's why I read some things. Okay, I saved a team in uh, Belgium Pro League. From uh, demotion, but uh, after the COVID, uh, after the COVID, uh, make my cr- club uh, bankruptcy, bankruptcy. Mm. So I have to move. Otherwise, I have a uh, two years extra contract. I saved them from uh, demotion. Uh, KSV Rosolar, and then after that, I go in uh, in coaching with uh, a friend in uh, Algeria League One. We were uh, six or six at the classification with Pak. In Algeria, and uh, we after uh, Thomas Dooley called me, um, and uh, I always wanted to see how is the football in Asia, so I accept to to go to help him. Uh, that's that's the reality. And before I was in Qatar uh, under eighteen. Okay, coach. Uh, all the club you coach and manage. Uh, what the difference between uh, in the Middle East and now? In Malaysia, in terms of culture, philosophy, and vision and direction, uh, well, there, there is a gap. Huh? There is a gap, but uh, it's it's different. I mean, the the culture. Uh, it, I have to to readjust readjust with the with the culture because uh, from Europe uh, we're very uh, demanding to the player, very demanding. And, uh, that's very important because you know that. Uh, uh, it's uh, it's not easy, and here, uh, how can I say that with my poor English? Unfortunately, it's okay. Uh, I also not in English, not good in English. Uh, they, the it's another culture where uh, pushing up. We and I am French, so we, French. We say the thing very straightforward, and it's not the culture here. Oh. Yesterday. Today we had a meeting, a very interesting meeting with uh, with the team, where uh, I told them, hey, now we we put everything and we discuss about it uh, clearly with open uh, open article, and uh, we discuss about, and it was very uh, very interesting um, feedback also from the player for me, 
because uh, you know working at the Ramadan time, etc. Yeah. It's totally first. And in my mind, I was like uh, in France with the Ramadan, which is totally different. Because the Ramadan in France, you you do it, but I mean, you go still uh, working the day. Uh, and when it's the break of the fast, they eat after they are a bit with family, but people, they go to sleep. It's not the case here. People, they welcome family, they stay the full night, etc. It's totally... Uh, different. Huh? It's nothing bad, nothing good. It's totally different. So it was very interesting. So uh, we we will uh, readjust um, a bit the organization and uh, voila, by uh, by communication and uh, uh, discussion all together. Uh, the, the player, honestly, they have the good spirit to to work. Even them, they they told uh, they told me yesterday, coach. The training are very good. We we enjoy the, the training. Uh, after uh, I have a tough personality, so yes, uh, this uh, I have to manage also because I'm used to European uh, culture. Uh, you know, you are uh, straight, tough. So here they they might take it. Uh, it's difficult, but uh, all good, all good. I mean, uh, we are working well and. Uh, I trust the boy. I trust the boy. The, it's not that uh, we had very. We lost, of, of course. We drew, but some game we should have won. I mean, it won't be the fire if the two first game we we would have had four or, or six points. And uh, I mean, football. You win, you lose, you draw. It's like this. Uh, one day we will win. I'm sure about that because the team has quality. Yeah, I'm sure for that you will win. Or coming weekend, okay, coach. Uh, yeah. The club normally uh, want instant success after make an investment. So uh, no different everywhere in the world. So, however, for the potential change after three games only, do you think they bit harsh and too impatient? But I guess it's the culture here because uh, when I see the records, uh, even I see uh, last year with uh, Thomas Dooley. It was the same. I'm not sure it's the good way to change all the time. Because if I remember well the, the records, uh, last season uh, there was a six or seven loss consecutively and no, nothing has changed. Then after the result come, came. If you check your record, I think it's uh, like that. So why making a difference with a foreigner? And uh, We know as foreigner, we have maybe less time. They are uh, maybe they they will, but I, honestly, the the head, the board, etc. They they didn't put uh, any pressure. Of course, of course, uh, they want a result, and I understand this. It's normal, and I respect this. So after you know, me, I do my job, and it's their decision, and I will respect always uh, the club. I mean, if they decide something, it's always for the, because they think it's the best for SPFC. So I have no problem with that. As on your caricature, caricature you put me uh, with perspiration on, on the front head or, or go young, I'm not going young at all for that. It's part of the job. If you do this job and you don't accept it, don't do this job. It's, it's normal, normal way, but I didn't uh, get any pressure from uh, from the uh, the top. Of course, uh, they expect uh, more now from the team, but uh, they know that the work done is is good, and uh, it it will come. It's a totally new team, uh, but uh, they are impatient. Un maybe because it, it, maybe it's the culture also. They want things immediately. So if it's not provided, uh, they put uh, uh, someone else back and uh, well, it's, it will be their choice. I mean, it's like that. Because uh, I read your philosophy in Fiji while you are uh, coaching in Fiji national team to build mm -hmm. for the future with uh, solidarity, scary five, hard work and with pleasure to play. However, yeah. do you able to achieve 
this in you stay in Pahang so far. So for for first and assistant to Thomas Duli, now you as mm. a head coach. Well, with Thomas, uh, it's it's different because it was not my philosophy. Okay. Oh. Uh, this year, I think already we have restarted because uh, uh, by the past uh, the game were uh, more on a long ball. Uh, uh, not re not uh, restarting from the back, and uh, even the last game when we restart from the back, we kill them. It's after the first goal, the team uh, decided. I don't know. I think it's mental. For me, it's the, the the factor is mental. They start to let let it go, and this. Uh, if you see, I watch many game of uh, the team before. It's like uh, they need to learn about this, to, to, to be stronger than that mentally. You, you winning, you continue to push and to push and to push. Because if you start to go back with the quality of the opponent and the striker, of course, you will have problems. So better to take the, the game on your own. And uh, bon, it's, it was a good experience. Huh? Let's, let's see how they, they will repeat because uh, uh, Pinang is, is a good team also. Huh? It's a, it's a good team. I mean, the 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 the, the teams uh, this year in the championship are strong. So yes, I think this philosophy they are applying. Honestly speaking, uh, the first first two games we develop good game. After the result are not there, the referee you can say what you want, but the, the result are the result. But the the type of play is okay. Even some some locals uh, are uh, improving. Uh, they are developing. The spirit is there now. They they need a strong mental. They need to take it more on in their own and to take more responsibility in the game. But I uh, I think they they can make it. Yeah. Okay, coach. Uh, yesterday in IG Sri Pahang, ex player Pahang, Dixon, a comment, and I also interview uh, him yesterday. He say uh, the import is not good enough for the team. So all the foreign player and local player for this season. Uh, you will uh, you choose all the player? Uh, oh, yes, yes, I shoot, I shoot uh, some player with the budget I have. Voilà. So I let uh, Dixon uh, speaking uh, on his way because he's in uh, London. He doesn't see anything, so it's it's you know it's always easy to speak or to comment uh, things when you are not uh, internally uh, in. So it's. Regarding him, after I think uh, Mamadou Samasa is a good import, uh, yeah, I, I think uh, you will see Marshall, uh, unfortunately, has been uh, uh, how you call it, injured from the beginning. So, But you have seen in Kedad, uh, you, you have seen that he can provide a good uh, quality game. The, I know that the the striker is uh, really criticized, but uh, last time when he go he gone uh, out, uh, he, he he does a great job defensive and uh, offensive. He, it it will pay. It will pay because uh, I think that our crossing, our cross are not uh, coming in the right uh, way. So we work on that since long time. But after it depends the own uh, quality of the player. If you can't kick a ball, is what I have. So it's I have to find the solution to do better for them and to improve them. And this doesn't come from uh, uh, yesterday for tomorrow. I'm sorry, it's like that. But uh, yeah, I let Dixon on on his comments. I think maybe there is things uh, uh, apart and uh, maybe a bit. Uh, is uh, something happened by the past with him and the club? I don't know, but uh, he should, uh, as as a former player, he should he should more uh, be positive than that because it's easy, and uh, he play in a team where they have the a bigger budget and the bigger things. And uh, us, we we come back from uh, last year uh, nearly demotion, so we we need to rebuild and uh, redo. So. I I didn't follow his uh, his what what he's saying, but uh, I think he's 
it's on him. These things, me, uh, we are focused with the player on the work and the performance and uh, everyone uh, has quality in this team. Uh, I want to let uh, this kind of people uh, saying uh, something else because uh, even Billy Kekteo uh, is, is a good player. Uh, no, we, we can't put everything on the import or everything on the locals. It doesn't work like that, the football. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, coach. It's all there. Uh, okay, coach. I want to ask, is the process of naturalized for the reason Lita and Aguero not playing until now? And one more, do you agree for this in instant success and but sacrifice the young talent? Because I know your policy and your you you will develop young player in your career. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Uh, for the naturalization uh, process, uh, it's in process, but uh, as everyone, it has to follow uh, a way. So that's why at the moment, uh, Lee and uh, Sergio are, uh, can't play. So I have to deal with that because, you know, when I have to change in the midfield uh, or, or in front, it's, it's difficult because uh, some player, uh, uh, when they come in, are not delivering uh, enough. But uh, yes, yes, of course, it, uh, it makes it more difficult. But um, we have to follow the process, the process by the government and everything. So uh, we have to wait. That's all. It's like that. Uh, no choice. So we need to find the solution uh, internally with uh, the other player. Regarding the, regarding the young player, at the moment, uh, there, there is a, a gap uh, still uh, between under 21 and, uh, and the first team. That's normal. But uh, we work on it. Uh, I formed last year the uh, Yazid, uh, the coach of uh, under uh, 21. He's doing the same philosophy. Uh, now, the, I, I mean, uh, the, the club is in this way to restart from the back, to, to develop uh, our own game, like it was uh, uh, five, six years ago. And um, I took I took already some uh, under 21, but uh, some of them are not ready. Some need more game time. That's why sometimes I, I send them back. They train with us, but I send them back for the game, to have game time, game rhythm, and uh, analysis on their own at a level that they have no pressure because sometimes it's very hard. You, and particularly lately, or we need result. You, when you put a young one like that, is sometimes is pressure for them, which I understand. So uh, let's let's get confidence to everyone, and if 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 and when needed, I I will take a, a young one when I think they will be ready enough to do. Okay, I have no problem with that. No problem. Uh, in, in Belgium, I put some player, uh, uh, I restart with a new defense. Uh, the two players were 19 years old. Now they play in, uh, in a Premier League, uh, not in Premier League, in the Championship, in Championship. Second Division. Yeah. Yeah. Which club, coach? Uh, Reading. Reading, yeah. Okay, Reading. Reading now, um, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, some they play in League Two in France now, etc. So League Two, League One. Yeah. My job uh, is not easy, but it's uh, it's always a pleasure. It's like this. Okay, coach. Uh, I know Sri Pahang, one of the best academy in Malaysia, always produce produce young talent. So do you think uh, this is pity that not give their chance to play or need some time that you like you say to play uh, to get the play, playing time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they well, it, it was by the past. Uh, Sri Pahang uh, bring uh, good, good, uh, good player locals, but uh, since couple of years, uh, it 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 has not been the case. But uh, they are working well. They are working well. Uh, of course, me too. I would like to to put uh, some younger player as as soon as possible, but. As I tell you, like the moment, uh, we need more experience than uh, than young because when you put young and some are very young with talent, uh, sometimes uh, you can't expect you 
you can't expect they do super super from the top that there it will be a, it's a process they will be top up low after top and then they they grow up like that so uh, but when i will feel it of course i always put a young uh, young blood and young roster uh, in the game 